sir you can start sir yeah sure uh yeah so uh, first of all uh, thank you so much uh, for joining in this call and also a warm uh, good morning to each and every person okay so today we are going to discuss about the some classes like sap fic organizational structure and the next one is enterprise structure and the next one is global settings general ledger configurations gl account creations and if we have the time so we can uh, uh, i mean discuss about the down payments if vendor is also a customer down payments for the vendors and also customers and uh, accounts payable configurations and accounts receivable configurations okay so uh, so i will give you brief introduction of the what is sap fico and what are the points that are there in the organizational structure and how we can cope up with this organizational structure okay so if you have the any doubts on the organizational structure after the explaining of the organizational structure you can just ask me those questions okay in english only don't ask any questions in telugu or anything okay this is for only uh, english batch all right yeah so what is sap fico sap fico is the best configuration for internal as well as external accounting processes okay so it is an important core module of erp processes yes what is the sap fico it's an effective tool for reliable accurate and time based external reporting in the form of profit and loss statements okay and also balance sheet when it comes to the controlling so it is a vital for management decision making processes and it is often used for the external reporting purposes okay so is there any doubt on the sap fi and co no sir yeah if you don't have any doubts i will uh, uh, move to the sap fi co organizational structure okay sap organizational structure means here we will have client then next one is operating concern and then next one is controlling areas controlling areas 2 and in that we will have company codes and in that we will have business areas okay so i will give you a basic example so client is the amazon right so amazon wants to migrate okay from their source system to the sap system okay so in that our client is amazon our operating concern is amazon only okay that is the client so based on the amazon they will have different different types of categories what are those categories they will involve in each and every country i mean here they will establish one company in india and they will establish company codes in india also and also in foreign country also okay so here i will give you a basic example you have established one company in your country okay so for this you need to have one company code why we need to have one company code so because so we need to calculate profit and loss and also balance sheets so whatever the reports that we have at the end of the day you have to know what is the profit and what is the loss that is the main thing right so we are working in multinational company and we are working for the one project at the end of the day so uh, you will try to get the sum of the amount for the particular month and also for the particular year so that is the main aim right so that is why here in the organizational structure we will use operating concerns and also controlling areas i mean in the operating concern we will have fi and also c that is very important uh, for each and every organization so whoever wants to migrate this uh, sap so they will have one organizational structure 
this is about the organizational structure so if you have any doubts you can just ask anyone has the doubt if we don't have the doubts we can just move uh, move to the uh, this what is the company i mean enterprise structure okay so if anyone has the uh, i mean pc uh, and sap logon you can just share uh, so first the person is bala bala if you have uh, you have the uh, i mean sap logon right ah oh, yes yes sir yeah you can just share the screen so we will try to analyze the enterprise structure sir is it visible yeah it is visible bala <laughs> You can just log on, give the user ID and also password. This is the SAP screen. You can just, I mean, in the real time only, we will have those servers, production server, development yeah. server, and quality server. So we need to log in these servers also. Okay. So for the testing purpose only, we need to do the quality server. Later in the, I mean, uh, uh, later classes only, we will come to know the point. What is the production server? What is the uh, quality server? And what is the development server? Okay. So all of the configurations uh, will be done for the development servers only. So if we have the implementation problem, so we will. And when it comes to the supporting projects, we will do the, uh, I mean, uh, uh, those uh, developments and also if we have the exact uh, view on the product, we can. So, I mean, higher people will do the, uh, I mean, all the configuration. I mean, changing the configurations in the product. Probably. So, a lot of class, we will come to know that. Here, we will have the enterprise structure. The first one is how to create company in For your voice is breaking, sir. Sir, your voice is breaking, sir. Bala, you can just uh, uh, go on the mute. I think uh, noise is uh, uh, comes from your side only, right? Yeah, very nice. So, Bala, then just go to the transaction code OX15 to create the company. Okay, so here see all of you, we are creating our company in our country only. Okay, you can just create your company for the another countries also, like US, Canada, London, whatever you want. So here we are in the India, right? So that is why I am creating uh, this company in India only. Okay, just go to the new entries here. So before we configure this company, so we need to know the what is the exact definition of this company. So company is the organizational structure and also company is the organizational financial unit where individual financial statements can be drawn according with appropriate commercial and legal requirements and however. OK, so in this company, we have several types of local currency. All right, so document currency will be there. OK, and also another currencies will be there. Another currencies means what here foreign currencies like that. I mean, when it comes to the foreign currency revaluation, you will come to know that point. OK, in the later classes here, we will have several types of company quotes. OK, so a company has several types of company quotes, but it acts as a single unit for which financial statements are available. What are those financial statements? Profit and loss and also balance sheet for each and every organization. Here, just go to the company. Hmm. Create your company. 
you can give whatever you want okay what is your company here give your company name yes srinu group of company see here name of company to means here for reference only i mean when you search for the company you can just give the reference only what is that name of company to you can just give uh, uh, as you mentioned in the company name or else you can change your uh, name also why because system will gather the information from this name of company to only okay why because we are creating one company in india see yeah okay very good in the detailed information you can just go to the street yeah give the street here i mean uh, where the actual company is located you can just give the here yeah teachers calling and post office box post office box is no no it's not post office postal code it's a post office box post office box means i mean uh, in, uh, in the name only it is indicating okay post office box is any uh, like that uh, your area only what is the area you can just give the area yeah yes give the postal code yes give the city see here we are creating the company in india so that is why we are taking in okay just drop down this option or else you can just click on the one yeah so in the finding option you can find out the countries see here there are some countries albania is there afghanistan is there so when you go to the find out option you can find what is that one countries that is india you can just take out the india from the finding option uh no bala ah yeah india yeah take out the india take out the india yes and language key is what language key so whatever we are using the language we can give here so most of the uh, countries will use the english language only so in india only we can use the english language i mean uh, uh, go to the language key and give the english so see here spanish will be spanish people will be there greek uh, peoples will be there german people will be there okay whatever they post those invoices in transaction code fp50 fp60 and fp70 those reports will be recorded in that language only so you have to understand so sap has the particular purpose to analyze each and every field so go to the currency here in the currency you can just take what is our currency rupee right so you can just take inr yeah so i mean here in the field option only you can just type it or else you can just drop down from this option right see uh, um, bala you can just click on that one yeah all people will see right so go to the uh, i mean uh, what is that finding option yeah see here find out that one what is the currency inr yeah indian rupee only take out that one yes so see here we have created one company in demo server in the real time okay so you need to gather the information from another people like client okay so there will be a templates what is the templates as is document will be there to be documents will be there and we are mapping the data from gathering the client 
okay these are the client data only okay you can just go to the save button and save it ha huh. here go to the create request so here we need to give the short description for your company what is a short description creation of company of company for for srinu right yeah so go to the save button and save it ha huh. you can just click on the oh yes okay so we have successfully created the company then what is the next configuration company code so for this company code we will have the transaction code ox02 ah uh, bala go to the search button and search uh, search with the transaction code ox02 this is the company code here company code is an organizational unit right so for every company you need to have company codes why because reporting purpose only we are creating this company code all the data will be recorded in this company code only i will give you that information company code is organizational unit and extremely important in derive financial statements what are those financial statements like profit and loss account okay so here every country that we have created must have some requirements for external reporting purpose therefore it is required to create or define the company code for different countries and assigning them to the respective company id for consolidation purpose what are those consolidations whatever the information that we are posting in particular transaction code like for the vendors and also for customers those data will be recorded later classes you will come to know the point okay so go to the uh, this new entries yeah here uh, i mean type your company code you can just give whatever you want any anything ah uh, sr is r s r a n yes very good so here give the company name company name what is your company name here you have created city so this is for additional data why because i mean company code needs to have some data right so that is why in the client data only we will gather the information right what are those what you want to give okay so those data will be mapped into this additional data country give give the country that is in india is our country right yeah so give the currency inr is the currency okay and give the language whatever the language that we have given in the company so we can just give the language here so what you need to do just go to the uh, save button and save it ha huh, here give the title give the title uh company right yeah give the name also so here company code data needs to have some data what is the some data means this is the data that i mean previously as we have created in the company okay why because for reporting purpose only so uh, we will uh, uh, try to uh fill those data in these fields okay a street you can give you can just give whatever you want no issue yeah no 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 uh, you can just give as you did in the company hmm. why because why i am telling uh, this one is i mean uh, some of the persons i mean some of the ceos will use this sap software okay in that they have small organization okay so they will maintain a uh, 100 no sorry 60 or 50 members in their company okay so they are using our sap 
okay so they are um what we say they are uh, recording those transactions in our sap only for their materials and also sales that is why we are giving the company code data only ha huh. give the postal code is yes city bangalore countries yeah and region is where it is located 01 is the andhra pradesh bangalore is located at the andhra pradesh or also bangalore right you can just uh, go to the find out option 10 ah 10 is the karnataka hmm. give that go to the post office box hmm give the postal code also yes i mean we no need to record from company postal code why because we have already given the postal code only see ya come down here there is a communication okay there is a communication okay so if they are facing anything regarding with this uh, uh, entries like uh, end user will use this software right i mean that company only will use the software this end user okay so if they have any problem uh, on the posting of the data and also invoices like that so they will have some contact so in that only they will uh, contact to the particular persons we are facing this issue can you resolve this one okay so we if we want to give a telephone mobile number fax email standard commercial methods data line and telebox so this is the demo server right so it yeah so uh, i mean it is not at all required to create all these records why because it's a demo server right so we don't want to uh, create all this one you can just uh, uh, click on the green mark option okay and save it yeah go to the create request creation of company code for company that is srinu right yes so we have successfully created the company code only so what we need to do here whatever the postings that we are making for the particular company that needs to be recorded in the company code why because we need to analyze what is the profit and what is the loss so that is why we are assigning this company code to the company okay go to the transaction code ox16 yeah so go to the position here we will have uh, i mean we have already created the company code and we are assigning this company code to the company okay or else we are assigning company to the company code give the company code what you have created yeah yes sir en okay here we have created the company code right and we are assigning this company to the particular company code what is your company yeah give the company give the company yeah this one and save it go to the save button save it see in the create request only you can give uh, just give the uh, short description assign company to the company code assign company to the company code yes we have successfully assigned this company to the company code okay then what is the next configuration next configuration is okay yeah so for this business area we will have transaction code what is that ox03 is the transaction code okay so this is the transaction code for the business area so before we configure uh, i need to tell you one thing business area in sap is an organizational unit within accounting that can be 
classified as geographical wise or product wise as per the requirements of an organization this is very important so bar, uh, uh, i'm going to give you one explanation uh, for this business area so bala has created the company in bangalore okay so yeah, i mean we need to have th uh, those business areas for this company okay why because customer uh, i mean orders one thing that is uh, one big fridge so that cost us about 10 lakh rupees okay so he wants that uh, fridge within two days so here from the bangalore to uh, kanyakumari okay so customer is in the kanyakumari so from the bangalore to kanyakumari it will take lot of time okay why because so i mean uh, it needs to be transported in the lorry or any goods okay so it will take uh, i think the 7 days or 10 days right so customer wants that material within 2 days only so what we need to do here in the business area only i mean in the sap so we will define the business area for the kanyakumari state so for the particular company we will have the business area in kanyakumari so we will transport that material to the kanyakumari state uh, business area okay so uh, those goods will be transferred to the particular customer within two days so this is the importance about the business area just to go to the new entries bala Bala, you can just create your business area. Okay. S R I N. Okay. So this is for Karnat, uh, sorry, Kanya Kumari state. Okay. So you can just create whatever um, uh, you want to create the business area. I mean, based on your company capability only, we can just create. So here we will create the business area for the Karnataka. We, have, we will create the business area for the Andhra Pradesh. We will create the business uh, for the UP. MP and also Kanyakumari states like that. So in the real time only, it will. Uh, I mean, we will do like this only. So this is a demo server, right? So we are not at all required to. Uh, I mean, create all those business areas. So just create one business area and save it. Go to the save button and save. Okay. and save it. yeah very good huh the next one is define business functional area for this we will have transaction code fm underscore f m underscore f u n f u n c t i o n enter fm underscore underscore f u n c t i o n uh, enter uh, see here in the demo server it is not at all required why because i will tell you see for every business area we need to have business functional area why we need to have business functional area okay so here uh, actually this business functional area okay are generally used to define the expenses in company okay so client data will uh, i mean client will give you the uh, their business functional areas why because they estimates the expenses okay so here we we can give the functional area and also valid from functional area text only and created on entered on entered by okay these are the client data okay so this is a demo server right so it is not at all required to create uh, all these functional areas so why because uh, i mean for everyday transactions we will clear okay for vendors and also for customers it is not at all required otherwise if you want you can create what is the functional area you can create it is not at all required then just go back 
for your kind information only i am telling you what is the functional business area then just go back bala here the next configuration is control uh, sorry credit control areas uh, i mean in your mind only uh, those questions will rise what is the credit control area why we need to use this credit control area why because credit control area is an organizational unit okay it's an organizational structure okay it controls customer credit limits i will tell you why so bala is my customer so uh, he doesn't have that much of money to pay uh, to the particular material okay so i am selling those materials okay like uh, 100 fridges to the bala so it costs around 2 crores and he doesn't have the money so for this i am giving credit limit to the particular customer that is bala only okay so in this way credit control areas controls the customer credit limits so if you give that amount to the particular customer you will get some interest so this is the profit for the company right so that is why we will use this credit control areas go to the transaction code ob45 hello yeah so go to the new entries uh credit control area yeah give the credit control area you can just whatever you want here hmm indian rupee only uh, here we don't have any description right i mean after the credit control area option field credit limit you can just give whatever you want triple line triple line yes very good so he see here bala data for updating sd so sales and distributions sales and distribution means what so it deals with the customer only okay so when we have updated we can just give the update also and what is the physical year variant we can also give the physical year variant also so this is the book. so it is not at all about to give the physical year variant you can just go to the save button and save it also the okay save it yeah so we are coming to the end for enterprise structure okay so the last step is i think it is taking some time right bala Yeah. Okay. We will wait for some time. Why? Because it's a demo server, so it will buffer. Hmm. No issue. Ah. Uh, then uh, go to that uh, option. Open. Give your user ID and password. Hmm. So have we created that one or else no? No issue. Just go to the transaction code OB forty five. Ah, huh. go to the position whether we have created or or not. Credit control area, S R A. We have created right. This one only. Now uh, give the description. it is not coming yeah credit control area for srinu that is the company right 
you can just go to the save button and save it so we are coming to the end that is for the enterprise structure and uh, assignment of uh, the next configuration is assignment of company code to credit control area we have created the credit control area right why because for reporting purpose only we are using and we are configuring all these one and we are assigning ha huh. okay bala go to the transaction code ob38 i mean for every transaction code there is a navigation part ha uh, go to the transaction code sm12 65 user 19 Yes, 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 yes. No, no issue. SM two world transaction code. What is the sixty five user nineteen, right? Give the sixty five user nineteen. Hmm. Control A. Select all. Delete. Yeah. Nice. So I mean, this is the demo server, right? So uh, I think uh, some of the other people will do the configurations like this. You can just go to the SM tool, and whatever the data that is pending, you can just uh, delete that one and go back to the transaction code OB thirty eight. OB thirty eight. OB thirty. Huh. Obi thirty eight. Go go. I already opened Obi thirty eight. Yeah. Okay. So go to the position here. Yeah. Give your com. Yes, sir. Yeah. You have given the company code, right? Okay. Yes, Assign sir. this credit control area. What we have created. Yes, sir. Go to the save button and save it. Ha! Huh. Go to the create request. Yeah, Bala. So after the short description, you um, uh, you you give, uh, then just to stop the record and we will oh, okay, discuss. Okay, sir. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Sure. Assign company code to. Sorry, assign credit control area to company code. To company code. Yeah, save it. Yes, sir. Yeah, stop the recording. Sir. So have you stopped the recording or one minute? Yeah, sure. 